Yo, 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 what's going on, Jeremiah Bly Development Network? Um, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Guys, I'm going to be real with you with all this Kevin Samuel stuff. Um, I just had to make this video, just make my point. And um, I don't know if this will be my last Kevin Samuels video on the news and stuff like that, but I'm also going to be honest. You get what I'm saying? Um, and I think the funny thing is about both sides, the manosphere, main media, whatever the case may be, everybody is doing this for clicks and views and doing this for um, um, everything else. You get what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like that's the issue with this is that as, as you guys are fans looking inward, um, you think you're seeing friends going up against main media. You think you're seeing these guys um, going up against uh, Kevin Samuels and stuff like that. And really, big dog, I'm going to be real with you. No, Nobody wants to bury this man. Um, he did something that was groundbreaking, let's be honest. He's one of the first um, to really get um, into the mainstream limelight and kind of put his imprint there in certain things as far as, like, future. Um, I actually seen that he probably was going to be in Atlanta or next episode or something like that. Um, and, uh, you know, he was able to talk to Nicki Minaj. So people... Um, did he did impact in some way as far as like how far his message went whether you thought it was nuts or whatever the case may be I don't agree with half not even 75 percent of what that brother says 90 percent let's be honest here let's um 90 percent of what he says I don't prescribe to it um but a it is what it is um on his impact but um I want to first start with uh, uh another honesty moment where's my damn cursor um uh is it up is it up it is right here so let's start with this let's start with uh clear some things up number one this is fake okay um if you actually clicked on the link um everybody's saying this is chinese whatever um scam but Truthfully, whoever wrote it uh, isn't from this country or because they used um, an, A-N instead of and, A-N-D, <laughs> run on sentences. I mean, it wasn't very thought out. Um, and then they used Melanie King as a person who has set this up for, on behalf of Kevin Samuels. Um, someone donated $5. I pray to God they get that $5 back. I hope people have not really... So make sure you go over and make sure you actually get that done. Melanie King, even though I have a lot of smoke for Melanie King too in this in this debacle, um, this was not her. She did not do this. Um, so I do want to be honest and and forthright with that. Um, and and to be honest with you, bro, it, in media, bro, it is hard to stay non biased because even though you don't like the person, man, what gets in the way sometimes is is it even worth clearing up? Like, are people that stupid to think that Melanie King would can't take coherent sentences like that? Or maybe, maybe, maybe people, I don't know Melanie King, so I'm not going to sit here and, and defend her in that regards. But I know for a fact she didn't do that. Um, so I just wanted to, to post that. It's not just because um, Melanie King said this. I actually clicked the link. That is not Melanie King. Um, so, yeah, go click the link and, and take that down. Uh, but... I'm actually going to start with uh, start my my bash with with o O'Shea because I I kind of see you as a hypocrite here, okay. Now before I start this, um, I think at this point, Nick Dog, like, if the manosphere is not going to stop making content, no one is going to stop making content on this man. So I think that is crazy that we hold. Main me we we contradict ourselves so much, um, as men and as this manosphere shit that's going on, um, it's very contradictive because everybody's getting viewership and monetizing off of it, um, in some ways. Um, I even seen Dennis Sterling. I mean, big dog, you you got the cash flow going in. It's not a jealousy thing. It's just I'm calling out your hypocriticalness. I don't mind you making money from, it, but you can't tell main media and all these uh, stories to stop making up shit. And you making up shit and then you play his videos and you only play one sided arguments on his videos um, and things like that. Um, everything is opinionated at this point. This man is dead as a doorknob. And um, but let's get into this video.
some stuff just to get your super chat revenue up and out there front like he's your friend and he really gave a fuck about you when you know that when he before he died that he didn't like you. Now let me stop it right here because I he's I don't think he's talking about Dennis, but I also think that he's talking about other people who are kind of putting his voice out there. But brother, you also put something in your community tab saying that you might stop making videos about Dr. Umar Johnson just because he spoke on um, Kevin Samuels. Now, if anybody didn't see Dr. Umar Johnson's thing, my problem with Dr. Umar Johnson is he's clearly trying to offset his dealings with the school shit because just a couple weeks ago, he was dealing with a cease and desist letter from um, uh, either Pennsylvania or Delaware, wherever he had that school um, taxed out to uh, at the beginning, but that's where he he's having trouble right now. So he needs some good publicity. You didn't call him out, all because he said some good things about Kevin Samuels. Now my thing is, is like you know, especially with like Ti and all these guys, everybody everybody faking, bro. Everybody needs some good publicity. It's crazy that Ti called him out after dealing with all this comedian stuff. It's all the wrong people, and you know what they're doing it for. They're doing it for all the wrong reasons. Um, but let's, let's keep it going. Or right, you didn't like him. Why come out here and do the fake shit now? Why not just keep that same type of energy? And see, let me tell you this, man. Like, you know, I'm from just a different era. And you know, like I said, me and Kevin, um, have fell out before we ain't always been, um, you know the best of friends you know we've been close and then had a little bit of a falling out and then come back together that that's that's been the case with me my brother Wody, maya and ghana um you know people youtubers can fall out um just like any anybody else all right and and, and, and then become friends again just because it's the internet it don't mean that it's not cool but i have people that i have on, on here on this platform that i will honestly really consider my friend and me and kevin samuels never physically met but you're talking about a guy that has really helped i also want to point this out to to o'shea as well and this is also why i think this is more about money than or even protecting the talking points rather than actual the man died um first of all uh these guys have never met now maybe they've done business together that's fine but this is why i always tell y'all youtube is fake these motherfuckers just collaborate they don't know each other. They don't know each. They they might have each other's phone number, but they pick up when they want to and when they want to collaborate. They send emails, do all that stuff. They're not friends, okay? They're not like they're not friends. They're, they're not. They don't hang out after YouTube. They don't just go on vacation together and stuff like that. They they are work buddies. And this man just died. This is probably one of the. I hate to say it like this, but this is probably one of the greatest opportunity these people have. At least I'm honest, bit dog. It's for the content. It's for the 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 reaction and reaction to everything. This is my real opinion on how I feel about things. But let's stop acting like we're just so fucking righteous. And that's what's really killing me about this whole thing. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, well, he makes content, Jeremiah. Well, he makes content on on Kevin Samuels all day. So the fuck what? You don't know that man' intentions. You don't know. You don't know him. You get what I'm saying? And so what I tell y'all to do is, man, like, look at the look at the 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 full picture. And I, I don't expect everybody to, to agree with me and put in the comments whether you agree with me or not. But, you know, it's all for a conversation. But with all this going on, man, I would hate to be Kevin Samuels right now because I just fucking died. And everybody is more so worried about my talking points and everything like that. My mother is grieving. I got my attorney trying to run up his subs and we'll get to Dennis in a fucking minute. Um, Melanie King crying, calling this person who do, I wish the fuck one of my friends would call me <laughs> knowing that I passed or knowing there's a possibility that I passed, call me on her live stream and then start crying. I will come down from the pearly gates and slap the shit out of you. That don't make sense. I will slap the shit out of you. That don't, no, don't do that. Not for no clicks, likes, and views. I'm dead, bury me, call it a day. Maybe make a memorial. I didn't I didn't care about the memorial. Make the memorial, do all this stuff. But this is for money, bro. 
changed my life. And for me, that was the same with him. The, the, you know, the guy was a close friend of mine. We were the only people he trusted to edit his content for fear that somebody else was steal it. Which is why at the end of his life, if you notice, he stopped doing Instagram and um, YouTube separate. I mean, in a sense, y'all are stealing it, bit dog. He's dead and y'all still trying to run his... Y'all running the channel. Someone's running the channel on AdSense. Y'all are stealing his talking points. Y'all are putting him all over the internet. And y'all are putting like the videos where he doesn't really talk raunchy with women. You know what I mean? So let's let's keep it abrupt, bro. No, none of y'all are keeping it abrupt. But let's let's get to uh to, to Dennis Sterling. And if you don't know who Dennis Sterling is, he's supposedly the guy, the lawyer that is representing um um, the the estate for now and go over to JT pocket watch and he did a great job of explaining what it was what estate is and all that stuff man um I I didn't believe I already said in another video I didn't believe media takeout but let me get to Dennis Sterling in a minute and yeah bro I'm I'm with a lot of the the case KS fans that you're trying to delete and hide and retract and all that stuff in your lives and all that stuff. I'm I'm with them, bro. You you're really just here to to get a bag. And O'Shea Mike can't see it, but I can see it. I don't care if you think he's your friend. I don't care if you think he's all this stuff, man. The KS fans, the people that are some of them are literally telling this man to stop. Let's start here. You're clout chasing uh, to grow your channel, even though he can't fucking spell or she can't spell. Um, get off his boss and let that man rest in peace. You're talking about you going back to your regular schedule of programming, but let's keep it a buck here, bro. You made, I would say, at least six videos on Kevin Samuels um, that literally explain nothing but you posting most of his videos. You get what I'm saying? And the thing is, a lot of stuff don't need no explanation. You don't need to. You, that's not your job. Your job is to go and see... Um, see about his wife, but this was the, let me see if I can find it. It's, it's within one of these. There we go. Now, if anybody doesn't know, the 911 tape was released. You can hear it in full detail just somewhere on the internet. I'm not going to play it because um, I can't sit here and listen to that. Um, uh, talk about him and stuff like that, man. That's just not something I like to do. Uh, but let's read it. The, the 911 tape was released and this young, uh, this brave young woman was in fact a nurse and knew Kevin Samuel, his mom, and his daughter. She uh, did everything she could to save him. I hope she hires Cardi B's lawyer and sues all y'all. Because some of the networks are running around saying uh, that he killed Kevin Samuel. I mean, that she killed Kevin Samuels. I don't think that to be true. Um, she'd be the dumbest criminal on earth um, to be caught red-handed doing it. <laughs> but this is the part where he lied at, okay? Uh, this uh, brave young woman, in fact... Um, um, is a nurse, but she knew Kevin Samuels and his mom and his daughter. And when you hear the 911 tape, you hear her say, hey, remember your daughter. She's telling him to fight. OK, now they could have had a casual conversation and knew, you know, what I mean, he learned a little bit about, you know, his mom and stuff like that. I mean, that comes up in casual conversations. Right. But here's the proof that she didn't know who Kevin Samuels was. This was the report written. This is this is her report. She she did this is a narrative, okay? So let's read together. On May fifth, uh, twenty twenty two, Officer Figueroa Unit two two zero five responded to a call at that's his address. It's blanked out rega uh, regarding uh, a person injured. Upon arrival, Officer P uh, Figueroa observed the fire department engine uh, two one performing CPR to a black male unresponsive on the floor. Of his apartment, and then uh, Miss uh, Alcatara, I think that's how people are saying her name. So, who um, identified the male as Mr. Kevin Samuels? Don't worry about that. Sometimes niggas can't write. Uh, Miss Alcantara stated that she met Kevin Samuels that night. She met Kevin Samuels that night. She don't know the motherfuckers. Well, there was one night stand and, and let's keep it going, came to his apartment and then spent the night one. Well, there was one night stand that ain't, you know, never mind. I don't care, bro. She could have been OnlyFans model, whatever the case may be. Could give two shits who she, what she did. But it is disingenuous to, to lie to your followers that she knew him. She didn't know him. She did not. Okay. 
Um, but uh, I don't accuse her of his death. She did not. I don't think she killed him. OK, uh, but that's for the police to do their further investigation on and all that good stuff. I'm sorry about that. But let's get some more into the fans. OK, you had that guy, right? Here's another KS fan. OK, also, I don't know if that's you telling them to go to his to the, uh, Twitter, but Dennis, please let this man bury her son and stop creating so much division. These are not just regular people. These are people who supported Kevin Samuels. And they're telling him to stop it. So this is what's going to continue to happen. You, the people are going to continue to make content on him because the Manosphere keeps making content on him. I see y'all all going throughout, sharing videos, sharing memorials of him. That's fine. But a lot of y'all are just trying to make this man look good on his way out, which is I don't really care too much about that. But stop lying. You know, if you're Dennis, if you're going to spend most of your time on and, and I want to get back to a comment, right? Uh, let me see. Know, know your purpose, right? The blizzard king winter is coming. This nigga. All right. <laughs> so I live in uh, <laughs> I live in uh, Niagara, uh, Nigeria, Niagara, Nigeria. Unfortunately, there's a lot of simps out here, but there's a lot of Kevin fans out here, too. Great. I met some at the gym basketball practice, but Kevin Samuels says we should not give smoke to the haters. That's crazy. A fan is checking you, Mr. Dennis Sperling. Uh, yes, you are correct. Okay. Kevin Samuels told me to ignore the haters because it is a distraction from your purpose. As long as Kevin was alive, I held back. What, the, what does that mean? But now that my friend has passed, I'm going to give smoke to all the haters and I'm going to enjoy it because this is my purpose. Your purpose was to come in and make sure the estate, everything got to where it needs to go. These guys are not Kevin's friends. If you want to go support them, go support them. I don't care to give two shits. Um, but at the end of the day, these people are here to make content. They're on YouTube to make content. Um, and that is my last point. Um, like, subscribe, comment. I'm out of here. Peace.